Hello students and welcome back to bankexamstudy.com. So today I'm really happy to start the marketing management for IBPS SO, right? So uh, the first chapter is the basics of marketing. My name is Ramandeep Singh and let's start the chapter. Um, before starting the chapter, let me tell you that we have started the IBPS SO marketing course in which we are covering both phase one and phase two. We are providing the chapter wise notes, test series, quizzes, everything is available in the uh, in that on your dashboard on store.bankexamstudy.com and further you can join the course from Bank Exam Study Android application and this is my WhatsApp number. So uh, let's start. So this is the simple definition of marketing. Marketing is putting the right product in the right place at the right price and at the right time. So uh just divide the whole definition into four parts what is marketing first of all you are getting the information from from the market uh from your consumers from your uh, customers that what they are looking for and producing the same product the right product so that you can you'll be able to satisfy their needs and then at the right place provide them the right product at the right place when where they require it where they need it at the right at the right price uh, at the price uh, the price uh, which the customers are ready to pay and at the right time when they need it you provide that product so this is the simplest and the best definition of marketing putting the right product in the right place at the right price and at the right time so these are the four parts of the whole definition uh, as per the philip kotler marketing is about identifying and meeting the human and social needs so this is also an amazing definition marketing is about identifying putting the right product first of all get the information from the market identify what the consumers what the customers they are looking for and produce the same product and provide them the product at the right price and at the right time at the right place so you can actually divide it into two parts. First of all, get the information, make the best product and then provide them the, the provide the customers that particular product at the right time, place and at right price. So uh, the shortest definition provided by Philip Kotler, the best book for marketing is uh, marketing is meeting needs profitably, I mean, meeting the needs profitably. That's the best definition of marketing. So let's move ahead let's move forward. This is a simple marketing system. Uh, there is industry and there is market. Uh, the market is providing the information. This is the first step. The industry is getting the information from the market. Industry gets to know what the customers they are looking for. On the basis of that thing, you provide the goods and services to the market. You are providing the goods and services to the market. And then the market is going to pay you the money for that for the, those products and then uh, you're going to communicate that uh, sorry this is the first step information secondly you are going to provide the goods and services to the market uh, and you're going to communicate it obviously if you do not communicate uh, the whatever you are producing if you do not communicate what the features of your products the customers are not going to buy it because they won't be aware about there is certain product which can satisfy our needs Right. And then the customers are going to pay you the money so that you'll be having more money to, you know, explore your market and make better products. So this is the basis of the marketing system. That's how the market works. The marketing process works. Uh, now, there are three important terms, needs, wants and demands. What is a need? What is a want? And what is a demand? Uh, let's let's not get into this uh, definitions. Let's let's get it there. Uh, what is the basic human need? What is a basic human need? Food. Food is a basic human need. Food is a basic human need. Okay. Now, food is a basic human need. I mean, th that is the necessity of life. Now, what is want? Uh, maybe today you are hungry but what do you want to eat are you getting it you are hungry that is your need what do you want to eat you want to eat burger or you want to eat pizza 
pizza i mean that's the correct pronunciation pizza so you want to eat pizza but then you want to eat the pizza hut's pizza pizza hut's pizza this is the best example you need food and then you want to eat pizza and then you want to eat pizza hut's or domino's pizza what is the difference between wants and demands i mean that's the most common question what is the difference between wants and demands uh, maybe you want to eat pizza but you just have rupees 100 in your pocket can you afford to buy pizza hut's pizza i mean i, I think i hope not you cannot uh, you can buy a pizza from a roadside uh, truck. I mean, there, I mean, in, in Ludhiana, there are roadside, uh, you know, pizza vendors. So you can buy a 80 rupees or 90 rupees pizza from them. I like that pizza, actually. I don't like pizza. Art. <laughs> so uh, this is a basic difference between needs, wants and demands. Let's uh, read the basic definition. Needs are the basic human requirements. For example, food, shelter or clothes, right? air food water clothing shelter and humans is also needs for the recreation education and entertainment when these needs they become wants when they are directed towards the specific objectives that might satisfy the needs a need becomes a need becomes a want and then a want become a demand right uh, a demand is a strong need you can say you need food yes i want pizza yes i want pizza hut's pizza now this is a directed directed demand direct demand right so you need food you want pizza and there is a demand for pizza hut's pizza so this is a very basic concept of marketing need want and uh, wants and demand most of that uh, marketing campaigns what they are doing either they are converting the want into demand or they are trying to convert the needs into demands they are trying to convert it the wants into demand the wants uh, wants or uh, needs into wants or wants into demand they are trying to convert uh, these two into demands have you noticed one thing i mean that's what i have noticed i mean in ludhiana uh, at around one o'clock i mean at around 12 30 or one o'clock I get an SMS from Swiggy or Zomato that we are providing 30% coupon make an order from our mobile app they know that at 2 o'clock I'm going to eat so they are trying to convert my need into demand that's what a marketing campaign is trying to do just before the SEBI grade A exam you are going to get uh, uh, promotional emails SMSs from various test series providers what they are doing they are trying to convert your wants into demands so that is a basic process so let's i hope you are able to understand that the next concept next important concept what is a marketing mix so the use of marketing mix is an excellent way to help ensure putting the right product in the right place so we can divide the marketing mix into two parts the four p's and five c's uh, the four P's, uh, the decisions that you are going to make for your whole uh, marketing, uh, you can say, uh, marketing process, you can say, right? The four P's are product, price, promotion and place. All the decision, I mean the whole marketing decision making process, you can divide into four parts. The four P's, product, price, promotion and place. Uh, the product it is related to all the decisions related to the product the product packaging the product branding uh, the after sales services that you're going to provide uh, for the product the market you are going to target for that particular product so that these are the decisions you are going to take for the product the price uh, what kind of discounts you are going to provide during sales period what are the various offer policies you are going to provide if somebody is making cash payment how much discount you are going to provide what is the credit policy are you getting it the next the place uh, see the market is 
not just a physical place, right? Market is not just a physical place. Uh, what is a market of Flipkart? Are you getting it? Market is not a physical term. It is not a physical place. Market is a look is a place where the customers are located. In case of Flipkart, it is Pan India. Wherever the customers are located, it is a market. In case of Flipkart, India is a market. In case of Amazon, India is a market. Right? And the channel, marketing channel and the distribution channels, uh, the various distributors, wholesalers, the whole supply chain via which you, uh, you transport your products to the customers. That is the channel, the supply chain. So if you are able to provide the products, your products to the customers at right place and then promotion. Okay, you you do you did your market research, you made a product, you priced it well, but the customers they are not even aware about your product, how you are going to sell it, why they are going to take your product. They are not going to do that. So advertisement is here the publicity advertisement the sale pr promotion the door-to-door -door marketing online marketing everything comes uh, into the picture the promotion so that is also really important these are the four p's of marketing these are the four pillars uh, on which the whole marketing process is dependent upon let's move forward the five c's of marketing so the five c's of marketing are used to analyze the to do the analysis of five key areas that are involved in the marketing decisions the customers company competition collaborators and the climate let's start with the customers uh, you need to identify who your customers are and what they are looking for who your customers are and what they are looking for you need to identify your customers and then let's move forward to company uh students once you have you you were aware about yes you have done your research about the customers you were aware about yes these are my customers i mean these are my target market then what whether as a company i'm able to satisfy these needs whether i would be able to produce a product that would satisfy the needs of my target market so i need to do my swot analysis I'm going to discuss the SWOT analysis in next slides. The company needs to analyze its strength, weakness, opportunities and strength uh, and threats. So the company is going to do the SWOT analysis, then the competition. Once a company has done the its own SWOT analysis, it is going to check what are the various uh, other companies who are already catering the same customer and their same demands. They are going to do the SWOT analysis of those competitors. First of all, they need to identify it. They need to analyze their products and they need to do the SWOT analysis. Can we make a better product than, than, than them? Can we price our products lower than them? Can we provide better quality products at same price? These are the some answers that the company needs to provide. So next, the collaborators, it is not always about just products In in many cases, the quality and the price of product is identical of various competitors. It is identical, identical, the collaborators, the distributors, they are going to decide what to sell, whatever they are selling to the customers, they are going to buy the final customers. So collaborators, they are also important. Uh, then the climate. What kind of climate is there in which you are going to work? What are the government policies? If, if you are planning to start a cigarette company or tobacco company, what are the various rules and regulations of the government? Maybe that is a profitable business, but what are the various regulations? If you want to start a... Um, you know wine uh, shop uh, like such products uh, you want to produce wine what are the various re regulations what is the political environment what are the macroeconomical environment for that particular product 
so you need to analyze uh, analyze that as well so these are the five c's of marketing the customers companies competitors collaborators and the climate really easy okay students now let's move forward to the swot analysis uh this is an important term that i have used in the lecture so we are going to do the swot analysis of maruti suzuki uh, maruti suzuki so what are the various strengths of maruti suzuki the channel the distributors so maruti suzuki they have a strong distributor channel they have the showrooms in uh, like uh, you know in every major city and it's really easy to find the spare parts of maruti suzuki while in case of volkswagen or ford it is really difficult to find the parts so distributor channel is strong so what are the weaknesses uh what are the weaknesses they are unable to produce uh, you can say they are not really doing well in electric cars uh so that is a weakness of maruti suzuki they are trying to i mean i have done the analysis on the maruti suzuki because i do a lot of stock research so uh they have a strong distributor channels but uh as of now they don't even have one uh electric car this is the biggest you know automobile company of india and still uh there i mean you can see the situation of pollution in india the air pollution in india but still they are not able to produce or to bring one good electric car in india so that is a weakness uh what are the various opportunities available for maruti suzuki the opportunities uh you can say uh again the electric car that can be an opportunity if they are able to bring one good electric car one good electric car to the market and that would be a great opportunity right that is a great opportunity and the threat uh, the foreign brands the international brands the international brands uh that's a threat so international brands are coming to india i suppose students uh, let's say if there is bmw right and if they come up with a 10 lakh rupee or 12 lakh rupee car what will happen to maruti suzuki you can understand uh, if their the quality of the car is better and what will happen to maruti suzuki so that is a threat uh, a weakness can be uh, opportunity can also be a weakness they are not able to do that that is a weakness but that is an opportunity as well because they are working on it anyway whenever they are able to do that thing that would act as an opportunity that is that is an opportunity as of now they are working on it so that is a basic swot analysis of maruti suzuki if you want to do the swot analysis of bank exams today our strength is uh, the content if you do the uh, swot analysis of bank exams today our strength is a content and the opportunities that are available uh, we can uh, get into other exams we can get into other related exams what are our weaknesses uh, the internal weakness according to me uh, is lack of funds we don't have money lack of funds so what are the threats uh, the threats are biggies the big companies like byju's or like you know there are big players in the markets what if uh, Uh, they get into the market whatever we are doing and if, if they are able to do better than us that is a threat for us so that's a basic swot analysis what are the core competencies uh c students to do uh, to make a product to make one product uh you need to perform various duties for example you need to uh let's say for a pharma company you need to make it manufacture it manufacture it manufacture first of first of all there is r&d then you need to manufacture it and then you need to market it in case of a pharma company uh right now the if you just uh, just check any of the medicine or uh, most uh, commonly the skin care products just read the back it would be uh, mentioned that this product is manufactured by so and so company and marketed by so and so company 
what the major pharmaceutical companies like Dr. Reddy's, Aurobindo Pharma or Nalco, Cadilla, what do they have done? They have retained the R&D, they have retained the marketing, but they have outsourced the manufacturing. They have outsourced the manufacturing because according to them, R&D and marketing, that's their core competencies. That's uh, what they are doing best. That's what the most important part of the job they can you know outsource this part this is a difficult part and we can actually outsource it so according to the this particular category pharmaceutical companies they have identified their core competencies r d so that's what they are going to do it themselves and they are going to what are the advantages of core competencies uh, if they are outsourcing the manufacturing they'll be having more time to focus on r d they'll be having more time to focus on marketing so traditionally companies owned and controlled most of the resources that enter their businesses labor power so but many today outsource the less critical uh, less critical resources less critical uh, parts of the whole process you can say right so manufacturing is not that critical in case of a pharmaceutical companies so in case of an online learning online learning so let's just focus on this one online learning uh, there is teaching teaching content making uh, then technology and then you can say marketing as of now most of the companies have outsourced the technology and they are focusing on teaching and marketing and some of them also i mean we have not outsourced our content some of them have also outsourced our techno uh, the content and some of them have also uh, outsourced the teaching i won't be revealing which company is this they have outsourced teaching content and technology they are just doing the marketing so you need to identify the core competency of your business of your company uh, the strategic business unit. What is the basic definition of SBU? <clears throat> so SBU is a fully functional unit of a business that has its own vision. SBU is independent of the rest of that uh, company. So let's say uh, you are having a big company, right? I mean, there are various departments and marketing is one department, right? Uh, let's say you said, okay, marketing is SBU. It needs to work independently so it is a SBU it has its own vision own directions and they are going to report to the headquarters and the management for their operational status so SBU it is independent of the rest of the company okay so what is the supply chain management so this is the basic supply chain management diagram supply chain management is the management of this is the word the flow of goods and services and include the processes that transforms the raw material into final products. So this is the supply chain management diagram. You get the raw material from farmers and the various component you manufacture it, you provide it to retailers and the retailer are selling it to consumers. So this is the complete supply chain management. Uh, we are going to use these terms in our next lectures. So I think that's all for today students. Uh, so IBPS PO SO marketing course available on store.bankexamstoday.com also on bank exams today Android application. The link is available in the description. This is my WhatsApp number. If there is any doubt in your mind, you can ask me right away. So that's all for today students. Thank you and have a very nice day.